When he says, does playing ruqya from phone on speaker has the same effect as someone reciting it in person while the patient is there? That's a good question. What is ruqya? Ruqya is a set of verses of the Quran, prophetic sayings, or normal dua with good words that we recite over or upon a sick person so that Allah would cure him. And the greatest of all ruqya is al-Fatiha, chapter number one of the Quran. This is the best ruqya ever. It has marvelous healing powers with the grace of Allah. Then you have Ayat al-Kursi, then you have the last three chapters of the Quran, Surah al-Ikhlas, Surah al-Falaq, Surah al-Nas. These are also great in curing evil eye, envy, jinn possession, and black magic. Now the question, as well he says, is it the same effect whether I play it from my mobile or from a cassette recorder or to have someone reciting it in person, without any doubt, reciting it by a person who's present is far greater and more beneficial than listening to it recorded. Because this is a form of worship. And when someone is reciting it live, the impact of it is far greater and the benefit of it is way more noticeable than just playing it from a mobile or from a recorder. Nevertheless, if a person is unable to have someone recite it for him or he himself recite it for himself, in this case, there is no problem in playing the ruqya, because a lot of the scholars say that playing it has a positive impact, as in the case of people who live in a house where they complain of it being haunted or suffering from few things in the house, and they play Surah Al-Baqarah, that Allah Azza wa Jal would uh, benefit them from the surah being played, though no one is reciting it live.